So I don't see service or technology being different. Um, we build our own technology stack for a reason so that it's fully integrated with the service that we provide. So everything that we do is not trying to think of an agent or the technology. It's very much a blended approach because that's, I feel, where the absolute sweet spot is. Um, a really good example of that is we provide online check-in for all of our customers if they wish us to. Um, and when we check you in, and that's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, once the agent has done that, within our proprietary technology, there is a button that they press that takes the boarding card and sends it directly to the user's mobile phone um, through the Read Mackay app. So that they don't have to have multiple bits of paper, they don't have to go searching in emails and so on and so forth. They get a push notification with a button to say, here's your boarding card. And from there, they can choose to have a PDF or uh, push it to their Apple or Apple wallet or, or Google Play wallet um, and really just move through the airport really quickly and easily. Within the mobile app as well, three hours before every single flight for every customer, we go off and we do a check to see what the status is, whether it's running on time, whether it's um, delayed or whatever it may be. And we do that active check and we send a push notification to the traveler to say, hey, Fahim, uh, your flight's running on time, all good to go to the airport. Or if it's delayed, I get notified of that proactively three hours beforehand. Um, we monitor every single flight that departs um, across our system. So if there are any delays or cancellations, we are sending a push notification and an email to let you as a traveler know. But where we go, beyond that is we also have teams behind the scenes looking to re-protect you as a, as a traveler to say, okay, right, Fahim has been delayed or his flight has been canceled. What other options can, can he take on that day? Uh, and a real life example of this was when I was traveling to, to the US a, a short while ago, uh, the weather came into the Eastern seaboard. Um, I'm in the airport waiting for the flight to cancel because um, being very frank I was watching them go one after the other and my flight was the last one um, and the moment it cancelled everyone flocked to the to the to the airline desk and all I did was pick up the phone and I got through to um, a colleague um, Richard uh, I said Richard my flight's cancelled and he said look don't worry I already know I've got you on the next available flight tomorrow. It means you have to overnight, but don't worry, here's a hotel. Um, and whilst everyone was panicking, I jumped in a taxi, went to the hotel, had a glass of wine, and went to my flight the following day. So those are the little touches that we try and do for, for our travelers. Um, it's not limited to that. Um, we've got loads of features that we've built into, into the platform. Ultimately, what we're trying to do, back to that whole thing of service blending with technology, is we're trying to take all of these little bits and pieces of, are there delays? How can we re-protect you? Um, what information is coming in from a duty of care standpoint? Because we've got a uh, integrated direct feed with a risk management company. We're taking all of that information and pulling it into our one source of truth and simultaneously providing that to both the traveler, travel booker, and also our agents who are there to, to really make sure that the customers can move without, without worrying too much.